Okay, now, so we just come, we we're going to open WordPad. So we come to start, and it's already here. I looked for it. Yeah. Okay, it stays on that, it's pinned to the start menu. Mm -hmm. But if you had to find it, it's in all programs. I found it that way. Okay, come to accessories, and it's in accessories. Okay, so if you ever have to find it, that's how to do it. But it will stay pinned to that word, uh, to that start menu if you use it often enough. And I think we made a shortcut, so the shortcut is also on the. There's WordPad, so we made a shortcut, so you could also click on that, and that would also open it up. But the other way would would do it too. So you got three ways to do it. So you click on that. And this is what opens up. This is uh, a new document WordPad, in WordPad. And you've got various, um, the main things are your font, your font style. It's defaulting to Arial, but you may like another Roman. font. Times Roman, these are in alphabetical order. I think you said Roman. Yep, yep. Bookman is old, old style is a, is a kind of a good one, but you could you could try the straight. ones you like. But, but something straight. Times New Roman is what they do newspaper print. Okay, that's what. And okay. now the font size is ten, which is probably it's very small. Too big. Uh, too small. Newspaper print is I think twelve, or book book a typical book is twelve points. Make it thirteen or fourteen. All right, so we'll make it fourteen. It's easier to read. Here we can make it bold, italics, or underlined. This will be just black. But I mean, if you wanted to make it different colors, you could. Okay. And here's the color thing, that little palette there. So yeah. you could make it different colors if you wanted. This is left justified. Center, if you want it like a, everything just in the center, and then right justified. Okay, now here, this I one... Left isn't left justified when you make a list and everything... Is it lined up on the left on hand the left. side? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm So that, that's what that's defaulting to. So the only thing we really had to change is the font style or the font, yeah, and the size too. So you just start, uh, you just start your list. Oops, and you don't have to worry about when when you get to the. Um, when you get to the end of the, or to the right margin, it'll automatically wrap around. It'll go down to the next. Oh, it's going to be a list like this. Oh, okay. Names of music. Okay. What is all that? Okay. I hit enter, and that puts me down on the next line. What is that stuff you have up there? Just random oh, hitting okay. of letters here. Okay. Okay. That, but that is that way it's going to look. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's really fourteen good for me. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you wanna, if you are you gonna print these out? Yeah. If you come under File, you have there's your print, but there's your print preview, and that will show you what it's gonna look like. Yeah, what I it, know, but I, I don't wanna do that. I know my ex always did that, but okay. you know, I don't need to. Well, okay. So so that's all you do, and if you wanna go down a line, you just hit Enter, and that puts the that's like a carriage return on a typewriter. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna add yeah. a new line. So that's where you're, so you can put your lists in. If you see an error and you want to come back and change it, you just come back up and we'd see your, how your pointer is kind of an iron uh, eye beam, I guess it's yeah, called. If you say, oh, I need to change that, you can click and, and that'll left. put, the, yeah, that'll, yeah. yeah, the left click and that'll put the cursor back in wherever it was. And then if you hit the backspace, you can correct it. Yeah. Okay, and that's really about all there is to it. It's uh, you okay. So now I have that, and I like. Here's the first okay. composer, Isaac Albanus. Okay, and I would type it in. Yep, and then I do the next one, Samuel Barber, and when I'm all done with the list, what would I do? Okay, so you would either print it out yeah, or... that's what I want to do. So that's, there you would print. Just print. click on File. Well, on, at the top here, they've got File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, and Help. Uh, and that's, you're going to see that almost on all Windows programs. Microsoft kind of insists on it. 
file is on the left, and the typical commands under file, they, they are, they're file commands, like a new one, you want to create a new file, or you want to open one that's already, you've already done, save, and that's one we want to do, and then there's save as. Save uh, will save it, but the first time you save it, it's going to ask you, what do you want to call it, and where do you want to put it? It's defaulting to this place here. You're going to save it in My Documents, which is a good place to put all these things. You might want to create new folders like lists of, uh, you know, Italian composers or lists yeah. of Scottish. Okay. okay, so, and you can create new folders, but I would put them all in My Documents. Yeah. But here's how you create a new folder. You, you click on that, and you can create the new folder. Okay. And that will create that, it. It'll be quite a while before I do that, but I've done something like that in the past. I just have forgotten. Okay. Now it calls it new folder, but we probably don't want to call it new folder. We we need to call it songs or something music. like that. Yeah. I don't do songs. Yeah, I know. All right. So I'm going to probably get rid of this anyway. But so and when then when you hit enter, that that makes it. That's the name of that folder. I'm going to change it and everything, but. But, okay, so then you say, okay, then you click on that, and, okay, so we're going to save it in that folder, which has a crazy name right now. And what we want to call it is we need to give it a name. Now, right now it's defaulting to document, but you don't want all your files called document right. because you got multiple, <clears throat> then, and you wouldn't, Windows wouldn't let you do it anyway. So you have to give it a new name. So we have to call this some name, and... You might want to put the date on it. I always put the That's date smart. that which I create things. That's smart. And I put that first. I put two zero one two one zero zero one, and then that will because all your files are found in alphabetical order. They're stored in alphabetical zero, order. Zero, what does that mean? It's the date, 2012, 10 oh. October 1st. So then you know, okay, that all my files then appear in, in numeric order, and also I can easily find them. And I say, what did I make? I knew I, I did that file on uh, October 1st, 2012, and all you'd have to do is search for 20121001. I noticed that on YouTube a lot of people are doing that. They're, they found that you put the year first, and then the month, and then the day, and everything gets put in the correct order. So... Anyway, that's how we would do that. So we were going to save this. It's a rich text file, and we saved it with a crazy name. And then from now on, that's the name until we change it. Well, let's so change, ch it. change that name up there. Now, that's, is that the name of the document? That's the name of the document. Oh, it's going to be music. Yeah, we'll, we'll change that. Oh, okay. Okay. But that's, I just can't get at the keyboard. Or as a matter of fact, we'll just say music list, which will be really definite. Right, right. So it, we have saved it. And from now on, when we cl we can now make some changes. We could add a few things here. And then you get to the real difference between save and save as. If you just save it, it doesn't ask you where do you want to save it and what, what do you want to name do you oh, want to give it. It just difference? saves it. It just writes right up because it's already got a name and okay. it's already got a location. Okay. That's when you use save as because that brings this this. The thing that came up first when we hit save was really the save as window, the dialog window, and this is where you get a chance to rename it and give it a new location where you want to save it. Mm -hmm. So you can change the name here, so you'd have another one with a slightly different name or whatever. And if you hit save, then that's it. And it'll, if you hit save now, it's going to say, this file already exists, do you want to replace it? That's just like hitting save, but here they're asking you. If you hit save, they don't even ask you. They just say, okay, we know where you want it. So I always use save as. That always gives me the option of changing the name or the, oh, or the title. Okay. okay, and then, of course, under file, the other big thing you have is print. Yeah. Print preview. Print preview just shows you what it's going to yeah. look like, and you can zoom in. You'll, and this is what it's going to look like when you print it. Yeah, so that's, that's sometimes that's handy. Really and then the other thing under there is page setup. That's if you want to change, for example, the margin, uh, the size. You could have different, uh, 
it's now de it's defaulting to letter eight and a half by eleven. But you can get other no, over here on the that's right. Fine. I'm not going to do it. Okay, you, you can get A4. You can get envelope size. You can get all these other. Okay, so I, I'll, know I won't. Do. Do. Yeah, you may but want to do that. Look at this. This is my accent when I when I had my surgery. Yep. Yeah. Great. He knows how. Yeah. But he can't do it. I can't do it over the phone with him. We've oh. tried. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, that's how you do it. You get in there in that page setup. It's automatically selecting the source. Okay. Here you can make it landscape if you want. Here's where you can make it a landscape is this way, whereas portrait is up oh, and down. Portrait. He made that uh, a landscape. Okay. But and also here's where you can set the margins. The left margin is now set at 1.25 inches. The right margin is 1.25 inches, but sometimes you may want to make the margins a little bit less so that you can get a, the, the lines thing. to be longer. Yeah. Well, we aren't going to worry about that today. All right. If I can do the others, then making an adjustment like that will be easy. For yeah, me. yeah. Top and bottom, same thing. Okay, so that's the page setup. These, the, everything else below, and here's exit. That's the other thing. But down here, it. My, uh, my WordPad keeps track of the last four documents that you have loaded into WordPad. So, and actually, that makes it kind of, kind of uh, easy if if you're every day writing to the same, you know, document, oh, yeah. or you're making changes, then you can easily find the one you did you know, yesterday, for example, and that would it, it's easy to load it. I'll, sh I'll just show you in a second here. So let's say we've, we've saved it and we've exited it and now let's open it back up. And it opens to this blank, you know, new document mm -hmm. with the wrong uh, font and the wrong font size. But if you come to file here, there's the number one, the most recent one was that thing we called the goofy name. If we click on it, it's right back there. And everything's back to you know the yeah, times. But, I, but I don't want to print that. No, you don't want to print that. But it's an, if that were your list and you I wanted see. to make a quick change, you can easily get at it. You don't have to go to open. Otherwise, you would have to say open. And open says, well, where where is it and so what's it the name? So too you, complicated. Well, it's a, it, that's why you should keep everything in my documents. Yeah. But sometimes, since it's only going to have the last four. You know, sometimes you have to use open. I see. You know, you, if it isn't in here, I know I did it. It's got to be there. Well, then you got to come to open. So you go to open and, and look in my documents, and that's probably where you'll find it. That's why if you do everything and keep them, everything in my documents. I think I've got some things in my documents, but I have no idea what they are. Yeah, they probably. You've got your trainer. Oh, that's the one I gave you. Craigslist descriptions, you know, huh. there's a bookcase, and and I believe that's probably in WordPad. Oh. This is your lucky day bookcase, yeah. I was, I think I was, uh, I sold, I sold one just like that. Oh, great! How much did you sell it for? I don't remember. It may have been a hundred. Oh, good, very good. It was a good price, whatever it was. Yeah, that's good. It went immediately. <laughs> So anyway, that and that's how you open them, and then if, and you can often get the the one of the the last four documents that you've looked at in WordPad appear here, and they just kind of move down as you as you. Uh, there was one we did the other day, a, a new rich text document. We we saved it, but we didn't write anything in it. And the other one was the Rhythm Sisters. No, that that's was Emily. that's Emily. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so, so it keeps the last four, and you know how to print, and really that's about it. Okay, now. Oh, I better stop.